Mexico to the Montgomery Museum of Art and History at 300 Pepper Street in Christiansburg, Virginia. My name is Terry Hoover, photographer, wife, mom, gardener, quilter. What else? Grandmother, otherwise known as Yo-Yo, and artist. The year 2020 brought back the enjoyment of painting for me. During that time, I completed about 20 works of art, most of them inspired by nature and taking on the landscape composition. Some of them were a foray into abstract. Well, here I am, a little less windblown. Welcome to the Montgomery Museum of Art and History. Let's go in. Yep, this museum's been here for quite a while and they are known for taking care of many of the historical things in this area in the, and um, the county. But they also are kind enough to show various artists' work and it's a really lovely little museum. Again, it's the Montgomery Museum of Art and History. So here we are at the bottom of the stairs, and I do have a few paintings right here on this wall. And you can tell I'm doing this by hand, <laughs> all by myself. And what we have here are four paintings that I created during my time uh, of 2020. And I'll try to get in here a little more so that you can see them better. This here is actually one of the abstracts that I created. And actually it is called Meeting Apart. And what I did was I painted this while I was in a meeting with my, the Blacksburg Regional Art Association crew. And it is rather noisy process when I paint. And <laughs> since I was new to Zoom, I didn't realize you had to mute. Um, and I was making quite a lot of noise and ended up having to mute myself so that I was not causing a disturbance <laughs> for the meeting. But yeah, so that one is, again, like I said, called Meeting Apart. The one above it is called Garden Bliss, I believe, yes. Oops, sorry, it's lopsided. And that there was painted in the garden. It be was begun in the garden. Um, the garden of Joe and Bud Brown. And um, we were able to be in the garden and hang out and um, it was really kind of lovely. The rest of it was finished in the studio. This one is sold and it's a fun little piece, lots of color. This other one is called Horizons, as many of my pieces are. Oops, sorry, it's lopsided. And we'll try to fix that. This here is called Troubled Horizons and it's obviously a little cockeyed right now. This piece was created using a technique with cold wax the other ones that we've looked at already are all acrylic. So let's head upstairs. And, um, oh, well, we'll look at this little guy first. This is called Blueberries. This is an oil painting that I did. I had a watercolor of it and decided to try, it was one of my first oil paintings and decided I would try um, utilizing oil painting. And, um, I was quite happy with it. The colors are fun. That's cockeyed, isn't it? Yeah. So now we'll head up the stairs. We are upstairs on the landing, which has several of the paintings that I've done, as well as some photographs. You mostly can see here again, um, works that are done in acrylic um, that I very much enjoyed. Um, applying many layers of color. Uh, this one here is called This Way, and it's obviously a little path. 
heading that way. This one here is an oil painting called Flow. And it was one of the first ones I did. And I enjoy it very much, so that one's just not for sale. Here's my little sign in the area over here. And um, like I said, the museum is very, very accommodating. And um, you can have a little flyer and your book for people to sign in. That painting here is called Hidden Horizon. A lot of blue. You can see briefly over here a few more of the paintings, as well as three of my photographs, which are going to be a little bit full of glare. Now we'll head into the main room and take a look. So here we are in the last room of the museum that has nine of my paintings. And I will just kind of spin around slowly so that you can get a feel for them. It is awfully fun for an artist to see their work up on walls after they've been strewn about a studio for as long as these ones were. As I paint, I usually have four or five of them in various stages of completion as I work. I have enjoyed very much working in acrylic, although some of them um, that I've done here are also in oil. I hope that you were able to come to the museum and see the works in person. But if not, I hope these, this little tour has given you a little bit of a feel of what it's like to see them. I hope you have a wonderful day, stay well, and we'll be in touch. There should be a link below for anybody who needs to contact me. I would love to hear from you. Have a wonderful day.